Howdy there folks, this is Andy Griffiths of GameZines.com and you're looking at Luftfels, it's a new game from Blambeer. It's a bite-sized, uh, I guess you call it a bullet hell shooter with a difference. Um, it's only 6 99 on Steam at the moment, it's out now. Uh, it comes from Blambeer, they made Serious Sam, Random Encounter, Super Crate Box and they're currently working on Nuclear Throne. Now, kind of the uh, unique selling point in this game is that you can change your ship. So you can upgrade it with uh, three different, change three different areas of it, which is the weapon, the body, and the engine, which we'll do now. And there's loads of different imaginative things you can do with it. So let's change it to missiles. Let's go with a stubby body. And I think that should be okay. Yeah, let's go for the super boost. There we go for that. It's quite minimalist, not only in terms of like menu design, uh, and visually and aesthetics, but also just just generally is quite minimalist. There isn't a hell of a lot of content here, guys. There's a hundred missions, uh, which essentially unlock as you hit a um, a, a number, uh, like a, a score target when you play through the game. But that's about it. And you unlock, like I say, you unlock engine parts um, and uh, weapons and chassis. But after that, there's 125 combinations, you unlock those, you're kind of done. <laughs> um, there is a scoreboard, um, sorry, a scoreboard, a leaderboard component to this as well, where essentially performances are tagged online uh, and you'll be able to see what your friends are doing and things like that. But it's quite minimalist, which is fine because it is Available via Steam at the moment. It's only uh, 6 99 which for an indie release isn't too much anyway. And it's something different, which is good. So the major thing with this is that you can only shoot forwards. So it's not like a twin six shooter where you can shoot all around. And secondly, you're, you're kind of... You're stalling your aircraft as you go forward. So you don't have to. You can hold going forward all the time. Uh, and you can also shoot all the time by just holding down the attack button. Um, but while you're doing that, you're not repairing your craft. So, say for example, if I really screw up and I go down for these guys right here. See that little circle that appeared around my ship? If I don't fire, then I get repaired, which is great. Um, but the music's really good. It's... Ugh. It's put well put together, <laughs> and uh, it's you know it's just this is ex it, exactly what you get, you know. What you see is what you get with this. Uh, you also have for each individual component, you also have missions. So, for example, for the greed head weapon, uh, I need to kill three boats while I'm damaged, and once I fill that, I will unlock a new component. I also unlock components for um, completing levels, which is cool. So I need to kill a blimp to unlock this mission. Okay. Now the laser is not as powerful as either the bullets or anything else. All the missiles. Oh my god, I got that. I got tapped twice and that was enough. Um, it, this game is also coming out for... Killer Jet and Max Combo. Mm, okay. Let's try this again. Who knows? Might go a bit better. Um, this game's also coming out for uh, PlayStation 3 and Vita. I think on Vita this game could do really well. Uh, just do the minimalist controls and things like that. As I'm firing, as I'm shooting, it means I can't use any propulsion to recover my ship. There we go. It's, 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 it's a bit of a weird game, but I like it. It's got enough about it to definitely excuse, excuse existence. But um, it's whether it's worth that asking price, and I think that's 
That's a, definitely a, there's a judgment call there. But Devotable Digital, as a publisher, like they're known for picking up these really interesting releases. They're essentially the same guys that um, that published uh, Serious Sam. Um, so they always make, well, they always support these really bizarre releases. And this release is a bit bizarre, whichever way you look at it. Let's do it. This will be the last one. I mean, mainly the, the whole point of this video is to give you guys an idea of what this is, because I think when you see it visually uh, in trailers and things, like it doesn't really put across what this game's all about. And also, with indie releases, sometimes it's hard to know how much content there is in a game, so I just wanted to put that across as well. Like, there is a hundred missions to get through, and obviously I've, I've, I've played this for about an hour, but I feel like I've got a good grasp of kind of what makes it what it is, you know? attack dynamic to it as well because as you are killing enemies you are uh, filling up your multiplier I think it taps out at 15 I believe The menu design is quite cumbersome as well, like it'd be great if there was just mouse and keyboard support. There is keyboard support for the actual game, um, but in the menus, uh, like you see there, press X can confirm, you can still do that, but um, you know, you really want to play this game with a gamepad, I think. I think it works best that way. Sorry, you can only fire four missiles at a time. You don't seem that clever. Right, okay. Well, that's the Sprouses, guys. I know it's a very short look, but it's a short game. Um, you know, there's very little to it. Uh, it's definitely best played when you are fully awake and aware of your surroundings. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. As always, like and comment if you like the video. Uh, if there's any feedback, please let me know, and I will be showing you more games soon. Have a good one.